Good morning, everybody. Um, having a look at Marco Hietala, uh, um, I know that he's in my list of bands or artists to try and follow. So I am. I just went through and saw something that was newish, um, and thought I'd have a. I'd check it out. Um, now, please let me know if I'm still getting hums and sounds. I'm still getting used to the new setup and I know that I'm getting some feedback through charging cables and things so I've got the charging cable unplugged um, but I can still see some sort of a reading on there but I've also figured out how to mute the microphone when the music's playing to get rid of that hum so we'll see how we go um, I've never seen or heard this song most of the things that I'm trying to react to are going to be first timers and Let's check this one out. He's got a very distinctive voice to him, hasn't he? And um, <laughs> for the life of me now, I cannot think of the name of the band that he's with, and I'm sure people are going to tell me. Um, but I know I've seen some things where it's... Um, no, can't even think of the female singer's name now. Nightwish? That might be it. But I've seen things where he's the one singing and very distinctive voice. The guitaring at the start of this, it had a slight feel of um, a little bit of Zeppelin with the open chord. That sort of thing. Only a little bit, only a little bit. It just had gave me that sort of a vibe. Um, but obviously not completely. Their voices mesh really well when they had that six section where they were just singing together and he was hitting his higher register. It was hard to pick her out. I don't know whether that was just in the mix or whether it was um, just the fact that their, their tone was so close.
that solo, I think, was um, really suited to the song. They didn't go crazy or anything. It was... Uh, the, the song feels almost anthemic. Um, but the solo was understated but kept the feel throughout it. Um, and it was, you know, when I listened to them sing again, definitely their register is very similar. They're, he doesn't have a deep singing voice, so you, when they're singing together, they're, they're very much matching. And um made it difficult to pick it out. You could hear just that, that slight... Um, slight wizardy sound to use. I don't know. I don't think that's a term. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> I really enjoyed that. It was it very, very much anthemic, like big, just had a big sound. Um, big sound, but nothing outrageous. Like the this, the instruments really worked together to bring that song. And I think a lot of the the anthemic part of it was the keys. Um, because they would hold that sort of high chord with the guitars in the back. There was a few little moments through it where you could hear the guitar going, dur, 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 but not overwhelmingly so. It was just something you heard, and because you heard it just in the background, you, you could, I kind of felt it. So it was nice to have that without the whole, um, the whole musical thing just doing it it was just the guitar getting that little bit in there uh, I, I really enjoyed that um, tell me if I was right with no I wish I'll probably go and check um, I've never heard this singer um, Taja Turunen before um, she from another band or a side just a side project with him um, would love to hear from people who know and uh Thanks for stopping by. If this is not your first time and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Thanks very much. Um, if this is your first time and you like the way I dealt with this, have a look at some of my other stuff and consider subscribing. Um, welcome to the journey and the family. <laughs> Catch you later.